Cup of Nations was filled with so much excitement, drama, and incredible football talent. Following the just concluded AFCON, True Vision took to the streets of Abuja to talk about it. Come with me to hear what Nigerians have to say about it. We nobody expected the outcome in terms of the quality of play from various teams, and then the people, the, the countries we actually expecting to perform. You know, like Morocco, those North African teams that did win the World Cup. Everybody were giving them that, that uh, first, uh, how would I call it? They were tipping them to be to lift the, the trophy. But at the end, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you can see that Nigeria surprised a lot of people and could evolve as well, even despite their poor start with the competition. So it's, it's, it's a wonderful one. It's a wonderful one. It's eventful, and we enjoyed it. Nigeria used to have a very bad. Uh, uh, we were struggling to get a good keeper. Because Uzo was not actually performing to the level we were expecting him, but Mwabali stood him and then surprised everybody. We thank God he was able to uh, regain fitness for the second match and then throughout the competition. So it's wonderful. He, he, has, he has proven to actually to the, our technical team that there are good players in the local league. Because when we heard that he is from Ayimba, not quite long to the, the South African club, but. The way he performed, I think we should look inward nowadays. But if you are going for for competition, like pick one or two home-based players, they perform. They, they will perform very well. I, I believe our players could have done uh, much better. Our defense was was uh, a little bit weak, and then yeah, I, I just believe we could do a lot more better. Maybe subsequent or uh, or uh, matches or. Or, or events like that will probably make improvement. I think, I think the 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 our goalkeeper was 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 really the 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 key person for the game. All true, really tried. Owan Bali, yeah, shout out to him. He really tried. Well, for number one, for reaching the finals, I think I give them kudos. But the performance on the final day was awful. It was terrible, terrible. Like there was no midfield, no defense. We just had individual players who were just trying to. Just, you know, keep the name Nigeria alive. But other than that, as a, as a team, the performance was terrible. Initially, I didn't even think Nigeria would even qualify from the group stage. That was the initial thought. Then they moved on to the group stage, quarterfinal, semifinal. So for that, we give them kudos with all the issues associated with their preparation. I think they have done well. But the performance on the final, that was yesterday, was terrible. I have to choose number one, Osimen. Osimen was everywhere. Um, Lukman, Lukman, two individual players. Then you have um, the captain, Trosecon. Those are the three players in the team that I felt went all out. Even of course, there are others who, of course, actually also contributed in their own way. But those three for me stood out. I followed right from the initial, but towards the end, I was a little weak. So I also have to reserve uh, some kind of uh, to avoid a kind of heart attack. Yes, something like that. So the Nigerian, being a football nation, they've been performing gradually and at least we, we can say narrow escape but towards the end they're supposed to that way so they're supposed to showcase one or two uh, tactical uh, performance but uh, one or two weakness just let the other opponent get edge over them actually for me i couldn't able to get to sleep last night because of the incident and because it was quite um, disappointing. The performance was quite beyond the standard we experienced earlier. And um, the, I don't know, maybe the tactical um, um, approach of the, of the coach or it is the, um, the team decided to perform that way. But it's absolutely below the standard. Our children, they played well, but you see, when, when you are faced with a lot of hostility, you become afraid. You don't know what to do. You offend the, the, re, uh, the referee, and they will play against you. So those guys, they were playing under tension, and they were afraid because of what the referee might blow against them. So, you know, so, but they, they tried their best. They did well. They did well. They could have worked too. They are very smart. Those boys are very, very smart. If you watch their, their games, their previous games, you know they are very, very smart. You know, they, 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 they are lucky. You know, this, this, the god of soccer was, was with them. It is, you know, that's what we call the lord of soccer. When the lord of soccer is with you, you, you win. Not that you might not be the best player. Right from the, their first uh, encounter, their first leg, uh, I was not actually impressed. And if you watch most of our goals, uh, we didn't play anything spectacular. We are just working on uh, maybe luck, as I may put it. 
when you go back to the days of our senior teams, when we have men like Okocha, Kano, and some of the rest, then when we jam in any, any club in Africa, they will know that Nigeria is the Giants. But this, this present crop of our players, I don't know whether it is age, or whether it is commitment, or what, they are not actually impressing us. Up until yesterday, they were doing very well, but yesterday, some of them experienced their worst time of, on the pitch, especially Ola Aina. And um, it will be Anzaidu, but the rest tried. Plus Ekon. Well, because, I mean, he's a defender par excellence, like he did his job and then he scored important goals too for us. So, yeah, he's my favorite. And Coincidentally, too, he won the player of the tournament. We have all the materials. So I guess uh, it's just a pity that we went and lost. Now can we play 65, 60-something against ball position, against 30-something? And this is a team that wants to win. What are we doing? We're de virtually defending. Nigeria has over 200 million persons. Is it that 200 million persons who cannot raise a standard team that can play that African Cup and win? So when we see these things, like you find that there's, 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 there's politics in everything in Nigeria. Like it will be. I just found out that. How can you put Iwobi in a game? You saw he's making a lot of blunders and nobody's saying anything. He's, so you see, these are the things that's killing this country. Wobi is a bad guy. He's the one that messed up. I mean, there are so many. If you are a, a, a footballer, I am a footballer. I play ball too. I know certain things that should be done. If I see certain things that is not right, I try as much as possible to see how I can change it. If Nigerians seated, should be able to know those people who are playing and those who are not playing. Then how much more the coach? You see, we just go and hire one school teacher. In as much as he's a, a, a white man, they say, come and teach Nigerian. That's what is happening in this country. Following the just concluded AFCON, it is clear that most Nigerians are disappointed. Yes, disappointed because the results did not go in our favor. But hey, second place is not a bad place to be. I mean, the gold would have been better, but is silver bad? No. So congratulations to Ivory Coast, congratulations to Super Eagles. I am Chioma, reporting for True Vision Online Television. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Bye.